And that's a look at the headlines we're chasing for you tonight. Professors dating students, not a good thing. Well, at least according to Rutgers University. The university recently took a look at policies related to sexual harassment and decided to ban consensual relationships between faculty and undergrads. NYU and Columbia already had similar policies in place prohibiting relationships between faculty members and undergraduates with some exceptions for graduate students. We reached out to Rutgers and they offered Chasing News the following statement which read in part, the committee recommends the university develop a new policy that prohibits relationships where there is a significant power differential. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, social commentator Lisa Durden and former prosecutor and now defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Bob, I'm going to start with you on this. Um, I can't believe I'm going to say it. I think Rutgers did a good thing here. This makes sense to me. The only thing I have to say is that when I was reading the article and preparing for this segment, I was in shock that it's 2019 yep. and they finally got to this place. If survival is something that you are thinking about, you don't want students and teachers who have an unequal relationship right. uh, dating one another. That's just for lawsuits against the school. But moreover, there's an unequal relationship. In 1985, when I was in college, our school had that policy. I can't believe it's 2019 in liberal New Jersey, and we didn't have until now. What about, though, a prior relationship? Remember, you're talking about adults. So if you've got a 20-year-old student who is married to a 28-year-old or 30-year-old professor, and then the student decides to transfer to Rutgers, you know, how would that? I mean, to me, I don't see a problem with I'm that. I'm glad that Should Rutgers, be exceptions, right? Yeah. I'm glad that Rutgers finally stopped faculty members from getting their freak on with freshmen students and college students. I think as a general rule, it's a great idea because here's what happens in the workplace like that. When I'm the professor and you're the student and you want to break up, no more nooky, 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 do you get an F in the class? Well, I think that's the point, but, but you know, they, they're saying that it's an unequal relationship, I get that. Right. That said, how do you enforce that? I mean, it seems well, to me, can. now you're going to have people uh, hiding. I don't think you can stop the, you know, the, the natural desires the of people going to have. No, but they said, you need to accept that as a faculty yes. member, that you will not do that. And yes. it's true, it may be difficult to enforce, but if you get caught, Bingo. and my experience has always Bingo. shown me, someone's more than willing to, to rat somebody else out, then you lose your job. Oh, I, I snitch. I will snitch. <laughs> okay, thanks guys.